how's everybody doing? Well, what's today? Friday? Friday. Friday. Today is Friday. Yeah, today we took we went on our adventure to Badak. Of course, some of you have seen the video. Went to the agency. Yeah. You notice it jumped up 4,000 pesos? Yeah. Yeah. No. 5,000 because it's, it's. I remember. It was 26. 25. But <laughs> now it's 30,000. And she keeps on pushing Manila. And I don't want to go to Manila. My thing is, concern is, okay, we're going to take a bus there, right? Your hotel. Huh? Your, your accommodation where you yeah, stay. Yeah, is she going to pay for herself? She expect us to pay for it. You know what I'm saying? He said, she said while ago, it takes if you, if they will um, make, they will make a request. It takes one month more. What do you mean? It takes one month for the request. What request? Request to do it here in Viga. I do. I'll suck up the one month. But remember, they said once you apply, you don't have to worry about your visa no more. I mean, as far as your visa extensions, you don't have to worry about them no more. Now I'm gonna do more research on that. But like I told you before, man, don't take the word of one person here. And Miles, you know, if one person here, official, tells you something. Talk to a couple other people, and if it all combines, you know, it's fact. If it doesn't, you gotta raise the BS flag and say, hey, 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 no, 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 this person told me this, this person told me that. This is what I've noticed, man. Hello. A lot of times when you ask somebody here a question, they don't like to say they don't know. They, they try to give you uh, give you an answer. But a lot of times it ain't the right answer. A lot of times they say, well, my cousin who works at the gas station that's next to that building told me this. You, you gotta, like I said, you gotta do your research, man. I'm not saying it's, you know, you just got, okay. You gotta ask the right person the question. You don't go asking friends or neighbors, okay? I have found out in the going on three years here, everybody here's a doctor, okay? Everybody thinks they know everything about medicine. So you gotta ask the right person the question. Right? She ain't gonna answer you. Yeah. She, she won't answer me. <laughs> you just gotta ask the right person the question. And that happens everywhere, you know, I just, just things I observed here. That's what I, I heard while ago. I I'm not saying from you. I'm not saying from you. I'm just saying when somebody tells you, okay, like that lady told you something. She told you that you have to reply and it'll take a month longer to she go to Let me finish. You go to Big and it'll take a month longer. Well, I'm going to do my research and find out that's a true statement or she just, there's a reason why she wants to go to Manila. That's the only reason I want to find out. She told you why then. I go, I go, I approach somebody saying, I don't trust this person, but they had to prove me, they had to pr prove my trust in them. In other words, I don't take everybody's word. You know? I don't know if that sounded right, but that's just the way I am, man. You gotta, you don't listen to one person. You don't get your you know, opinions or whatever, your ideas from one person, because they don't, they have no skin in the game sometimes. People don't have no skin. They'll tell you something. They don't care. They don't care. They'll tell you something, and they could be totally wrong. They have no skin in their a game. It has no effect on them, so they just walk away. And you're the one holding the, you know, like what am I doing? What am I going to do now? What do you call that? Biometric. Well, that's for the fingerprint. Yeah, when I go there, what they do is they take, they take your fingerprint. All it is is they check to make sure you're not a complete idiot in the Philippines. You're not a thief. You don't go around robbing people. You don't. You know. You have no problems. No and crime. I, no crime. Yeah. No. No acts no of crime. No violations. No violence. No incidents. And I'm good, man. I'm here. I'm good. I don't bother nobody. You know. Not that I 
and the thief or anything, but like I said, I'm a, I have no concerns, so no worries. They take your fingerprints, they take your pictures, you know, and then they hang you up in a post office somewhere saying, does anybody know this guy? <laughs> in the States, what they do is when you're wanted for something, when the authorities are after you, if you go into a post office, you'll see pictures, you know, it's pictures of FBI. wanted, F FBI, usually it's FBI wanted. Yeah. Well, and they also do, did that, but they only uh, search if you co if they check all your records if you if you commit um, crime here or you um, same name. And on the uh, inverters or converters, the ones that step down from two twenty one ten. Everybody I have asked, they told me the only ones they rely on is General Electric. They say don't buy it, buy it there, don't buy it here because they ain't worth a damn. I mean, guys wait until they got here, then they ordered it from places, online places, and they get it, and it lasts maybe a month and it flies. So, and they're not from here; they're from another place south of here, in their own country. So, you know, you got to watch what you get. And I talked to that, there's a guy, a Philippine electrician, Roy, he's the one that rewired up my house and did a lot of good work for me. He told me that any electrical equipment, TV, computer, microwave, any electronic equipment, he goes, put it on a surge protector. And I asked him why, and he said, the electricity here is crazy. It goes up and down, up and down, surges. You know, it's not, he says, it just seems like it's not regulated. It probably is, but not very well. Because it's just, and this is from a Philippine electrician, he told me this. So, and, it, and if you get it in the state, if you get a surge protector in the, surge protector in the states, make sure it's rated for 220. It ain't be no good if it, it's 110, it's gonna fry it. So, yeah. He says, anything, you got your TV, your computer, your microwave, coffee pot, or air fryer. He says, any, it's electronic. Any electrical appliance? No, not really like electronic, electronics. Yeah. I mean, your light bulb, your light, your light, you ain't got to worry about that. Because it'll fry it, or it'll do damage to it, because like I said, he called it dirty electricity. And I was like, dirty, what is it? It ain't clean. He goes, no, no, no. <laughs> he goes, it, it fluctuates. And he goes, and sometimes it'll go higher than 220. So your surge protector goes higher than 220, what's going to happen? It's going to break. Not break, but it's gonna, it's gonna shut off. Shut off. Yeah. Well, I got what? We got what? One. We got one for the TV, and all you know, chargers for this. We got we got that one. That one's in the living room. We got one in the kitchen for the microwave, the coffee pot, and the fire, air fryer, and whatever else we want to plug into it. And got another one in my computer for my computer, my monitor. You know, you get it. You get one it. One treadmill. Huh? One. One also in a treadmill. Yeah, I got one on, the, I got a treadmill, I know. When do you use it? I dust it off every once in a while. But, <laughs> I know, I need to get to use it. I know, I know, I know. And I got one on the treadmill, because that's electronic. You people know this, man, it's all common sense. Other than that, man, we'll enjoy life. We sit here as people walk by, we talk about them a little bit. That, that puppy, that dog puppy's, man, like I said, man, puppy's gonna be a good looking dog that you all taken care of. It doesn't have, you'll notice over here, every dog's tail, even puppy, the Mimi, it curls. You know, it doesn't lay, you know, some Mimi, dogs lay like this. Maki is. No, it curls up. It curls up. Where well, he comes out here, it curls up. You know, a lot of dogs you see go like this, but all the tails, all the, no matter what breed it is, all the tails curl. I don't get that. I wonder why. We need to find that out. <laughs> Probably because they're inbred. It wouldn't surprise me if they're inbred. That's a, that's a sign. Is that a sign of inbreeding? <laughs> Cohen of the two. And I noticed, man, a lot of dogs and cats around here have got little nubs for tails. They don't have a whole tail, they got little nubs. I don't want you. Yeah, I, was, I asked Miles today, I said, why did. Why do I see so many cats with hotels? They got these little tiny nubs. Just things that 
useful information. I don't know. Yeah, so hopefully within the next, what, two months? Mm -hmm. Two months, they'll say, hey, dude, you never got an also The good thing about it is once you get your permanent resident, you only, okay, for the first year, you're on probation yeah. to make sure you're not a dirtbag. Yeah. And then after the probation, you go to a permanent resident status and you got to check in, what, once a year? Yeah. And it's like it's like 130 pesos. I might be wrong, okay? You got to pay 130, 230, 250. I don't know, 300 pesos a year instead of how much did I pay last month? Less this time? This time is still good. No, it's two thousand. Yeah, just for because two two. It's only two months. Yeah, I paid for two months. Well, now we already got in at the two months to the two months. I'd have paid 2000 some change. I don't remember what it is, man. But, uh, yeah. And the only reason I really don't, I'll be honest, the only reason I really don't like giving people prices of things is because they change so much. Like I said, the last time I talked to the agency, it was 26,000 pesos, okay, for everything to be done. This time I talked to them, it was 3,000 pesos. 13, not 3,000. No, 30,000 pesos. I'm sorry, 26,000 the first time. 30,000 this time. So ch prices changes, man. And you always got in the back of your head. It might be in charge skin, skin tax here or what, you know? When that happens quite often. Sometimes I I just wait for the recommendation. If you like, if you want that agency, it's okay. Well, no, no you know, okay. The reason why I'm going to the agency, okay, I hear so much horror stories, okay? You got to fill out all this paperwork. Yeah. Right? If you screw one thing up on that paperwork, you got to start all over again. Mm -hmm. And I ain't. I, I'll be honest. With you, I do not have patience for that. Man. Oh. I don't have patience. I, so I do. no. okay. I'm okay. Mark, oh, my pup, plants. That puppy just wants to play. <laughs> Mucky, you know this puppy is annoying it? Plants. You know this puppy is just annoying it? <laughs> yeah, there's a, there's a puppy and there's another dog outside the, outside the gate. <laughs> Mucky's ignoring the puppy. The puppy's like up in <laughs> Mucky's face. Mucky's totally ignoring it. And he's barking at the other dog. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. Rande, <laughs> Oh, that was funny, yeah, when we were at the restaurant. It was so funny. Yeah. I People were taking my picture, which I was like, whatever. And then little kids were staring at me. <laughs> now, so, somebody came up to me and said, hey, can I, can we take a picture with my, can you take a picture? Can we have a picture hey. with you and my, my child? I said, you were so I don't care. I would have. I would have took the glasses and mung them down a little bit like that. Like you always see Santa Claus. That's how I'm doing. I told Miles I want to get a hat, the Santa Claus hat. <laughs> see, beards, beards are not a thing. And I don't... Beards aren't a big thing here, okay? What I'm talking about, what I mean is like this, a full beard. Here you'll just see a guy with maybe uh, uh, ha uh, stranded hair. I call them stranded hair mustaches with just very little hair. Mm -hmm. And a stranded hair, goatee, very little hair. Mm -hmm. That's all. If, if they have them, that's what they have. But, but for the most part, beards are not a thing here. It's not that they don't. They, they just can't grow. Them. Is that is that true? The men can't grow beards. Here? Yeah. Can. Yeah, they can. They can, but it's hard. They can't grow beards. 
You see him growing. All they got is a little peach fuds on their chin. Oh, one yeah. in in Los Angeles, you get you. He's probably got some yes. other nationality in his. But room. the 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 color of the beard is is black. He's probably got some other nationality in his room, other than Philippines and Spanish. I don't know if you all know this, you know, Spain occupied, occupied the Philippines for 399 years and then they sold the, sold the Philippines to the United States. I don't know how much for, but they, they sold it to them. And the United States, when they, when did the United States give up the Philippines? After World War II, was yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, they said, hey, she always have it. And and I like I said we you th you think why the United States and be honest okay and it ain't gonna hurt my feelings you know me I don't give a shit do you think the United States is good for the Philippines or bad for the Philippines or mixed I don't know I don't know that that's, is my honest answer I don't know then why why so why does people like other hey why does there people like that hates Americans jealousy. I don't know. Yeah, there is people here that hate Americans. I don't know why. You know, maybe it's just jealousy, you know? I don't know. No, sir. See how funny these people are? I have no idea who that guy was. <laughs> the, the what? Yeah. The... I remember the woman always when she was passing by. Not old lady. Not old lady. The one that says hi, brother, all the time? Called his brother? Yes. Yeah. That's the one it would tell you. No, no, yeah. not the one. Not the one. The, the fair complexion. No. This no. is her sister. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's a woman who walks by every day, and every day she sees me. Hi, brother. <laughs> like, hey, how you doing? I have no idea who this woman is. No idea. She seems like a very nice person. Yeah. Yeah. I'm always telling Miles, you know, I'm saying, hey, why don't you invite some people in and have coffee and stuff like that. I think it's because of the dogs. That's what I'm hoping. That's why. Because of the dogs. <laughs> where, you, where you keep your dog you put them in the room and you turn on the aircon, you'll never hear from them again. Yeah, I'm a social person, but at times when Mar 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 Miles have people over, they feel, and I'm wrong, see if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. they feel embarrassed or uncomfortable because they can't speak English. Am I wrong? Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Their their feeling is same as you also. Yeah, I feel embarrassed, man, because I can't speak Ilocano. So what I usually do is I'll just go in the man cave and I'll just hang out in there. Not that I don't want to be around them. It's just that, you know, it's just they they feel embarrassed. They feel ashamed, and they shouldn't be. It's still country, man. It's still fucking country. You know. But I'm telling you, Ilocano is hard. They speak it very fast. You know, and half the time I don't understand the words. Like, the only words I know is, whoa! <laughs> and, and <laughs> it's, that's not Ilocano, that's not, it's, it's, that is only express, uh, expression. No. <laughs> I'm not making fun of it, it's just that, the way it was. Alright, man, hey, I'll let you all go. You all be good to yourself, be good to each other. And have a great day or have a great <laughs> night. What? Have a great day, have a great night. Well, it's, oh, okay. it's all typical time. Right now it's going on 5 a.m. in the morning in the East Coast time. That's all. Right. But y'all be good. Talk to you later. Peace Bye. out. Bye. Bye.